when I was a child, my dad and I were avid sports fans. The Olympics were real big, and, and so was Bruce Jenner. You know, seeing Bruce Jenner and his ability to do just about every relay in the Olympics inspired me and my dad to compete against each other. Uh, so much so that we had a four-foot fence that separated our yard from our neighbor's yard. That four-foot fence was uh, very dangerous because it had sharp prongs. Well, you know, my dad, you know, bet me that I couldn't jump that fence. So, of course, you know, being the competitive guy that I was, took his bet. Uh, for me, it was like being evil Knievel hurtling. Never jumped anything, never, you know, did anything like that in my life. So, uh, I took his bet and, you know, of course, we we threw a coin up to see who would go first. And, of course, I was a losing, on the losing end of that coin toss. So, I went in position and my dad said, on your mark, get set, go, and I took off and, you know, I was a little reluctant, a little shy, but I, I cleared the, the, the fence. It was my dad's turn, so I told him to get in position and I said, on your mark, get set, go, uh, and he, being a, a jogger and a runner, he looked so graceful doing what he was doing. Uh, he ran up to the fence, he hurdled the fence, and when he did, he tripped over the fence and landed on a certain body part and scraped a certain body part. You know, being an adolescent that I was, I found it very hysterical, but also concerned. So I ran up to my dad, asked if he was okay. He told me it's okay. My mom, on the other hand, didn't find that very amusing. She was very upset because it could have been a lot worse. And plus, being an only child, she was concerned with me, and then, of course, concerned for her husband. My dad, I always idolized my dad. We always competed against each other. So my dad inspired me to be better than I was today. And that is, it proves true today. Um, so... Everything that I do and, and everything that I see other people do, uh, you know, helps me and motivates me to be better than I am today. So competition can have positive effects and negative effects. Let's discuss the positive. Positive effects of competition is being able to inspire to do something, set goals, and achieve those goals. You know, or seeing someone that does something really well and you want to be like them, like be like Mike, Michael Jordan, and being able to accomplish that. Uh, Kobe Bryant is a classic example of that. He always idolized Michael Jordan, and, and he got to where he competed against Michael Jordan, and in some cases beat Michael Jordan. So that's a positive example of, of competition. There's also a negative. A negative example is, you know, you, you and a, a friend of yours, really good friend, likes the same girl. Um, you know, and one friend may throw the other friend on the bus just to get the girl. That's a negative impact. So competition must have balance, you know. There's a little bit of selfishness, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, personal gain there, but it all has to balance out. So, you know, competition does breed excellence, and, and I think for the most part, you know, that has inspired me and inspired others to be better than they are today.